Hey guys, good morning and happy new year to you. Today, I want to show you how to make happy new year 3D text effects on your Android smartphone using PC Lab exactly like this. So in this tutorial, you will learn how to make this on your Android smartphone using PC Lab. Kindly watch to the end so that you learn new tricks and added value to your skills. I wish you prosperous year ahead. Thanks. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos. Without wasting much of our time, let's start with today's tutorial. Take up graphic skills with creativity. So I want to show you how to make a 3D text effect in PC Lab. This is actually 3D text effect tutorial. So without wasting much time, let's start. Let uh, type go to the text here and type yes. Now go to the font. Go to the font and select this font. Sorry, my phone is somehow hugging. Sorry. So go to the font and select Bugalo, Bugalo regular font, as you can see. Sorry, Bugalo regular font. So after selecting that, then you increase the size like this. So go to the spacing and make it closer a little bit as you can see make it close a little bit so okay now use relative position to center it copy copy it then place now go to the layer and hide the the below, one below. Now go to the color. Go to the color. Go to the gradient. Click on plus. This first one, you you see I've clicked it. It has it already highlighted with something like pink. Then click on this color icon. The middle one. Scroll it to the edge. Go to the second key, which is this one. Click on color icon and you increase the middle one to towards the edge like this. Click OK, then apply. OK. After you're able to do that, the next thing to do is to go to inner shadow, enable it, then set your inner shadow to be two, two, then X should be four then off y should be minus y should be minus four let the y to be minus four now go to the color and select white good now after done that the next thing to do is to merge it with something now click on the text you see this text move it to hide it like this now merge it together don't make mistake match the one you are applying the effect with now go to 3d rotation go to 3d rotation and apply the 3d rotation oblique then the depth should be two go to oblique and go to be 183 then don't enable this go to the color click on this click on the middle like this click on the middle yeah good yeah now move it in a little bit click ok now the next thing to do after doing this after achieving this is to click OK, then go to the layer, lock the first one, and enable the second one. Now, after doing this, 
you can use the relative position to center to make sure it's center now go to the stroke sorry go to the stroke apply the stroke now click on the gradient click on plus sign this first one this first one click on color screw this one to the green area and you apply like this apply it like this click ok sorry apply it like this click ok the second key the same thing applicable go to the green color apply it let it be more darker than the first one i mean too let it be too uh, deep then you see the way it look click ok now go to the stroke and you increase to be 39 increase it to 39 so increase it to 39 sorry so after increasing it you move it directly like this as you can see make sure that uh, you adjust very well increase it like that so after that go to the same color apply color for it gradient now apply the same process the green color move it to this side let it be light at the top light at the top then the button should be more darker you see as you can see let it be more darker like this then after after applying this the next thing to do is to go to is to lock it go to the layer lock it then the first at the top text make sure that uh, you click on it want to apply shadow for it then after clicking on it then you go to the shadow go to the shadow then enable the shadow the blur reduce put it in five then offset x should be minus two then let the y to be let it be two that is five minus two two then the next thing to do in that is to click ok now the next thing to do is to go sorry so the next thing to do right now after applying that is to lock it and go to the uh, uh the one below then find something and i match together with it sorry sorry so what we're going to do is to find another text attach it to the second one the one on that ground you see then click back to go to the back again this one will give you an avenue to apply 3d then apply 3d go to 3d let the uh, uh, depth to be 2 then go to rotation to be 220 rotation 220 or 221 so 220 then the nice thing to do is to click on the color so after that the next thing to do is to click on color click on this color then apply the same color as you are being told apply the same color sorry apply the same color sorry so sorry we haven't finished perspective to then auto that's 220 then that's all that's all and then the color we we'll apply the same color so we we'll look at it we we'll apply the same color uh, let's go with the gradient then we do it the same thing exactly we do the same thing so green then we we'll apply make it dark you look at it then good so after we're able to achieve that then the next thing to do is to apply the shadow for it as well go to the shadow and let it be three 
hope I'm not too fast. Let it be 3 minus 3. Let it be 3 minus 3, 4. Good. So it's just as simple as this. So after we're able to do the, the, the next thing to do is to go to the background. Select the kind of background that we want. Let's put this background. You see how awesome it is. Then you go and match everything together. Let me match it together. So good. So as you can see, this is how you can make a 3D test effect. So let's change the size to YouTube banner size, as you can see. So let's expand it very well. So this is your simple way on how you can make a, a 3D text effect on your Android smartphone using PC Lab. Thank you for watching. God bless you. So let's save the work. Save with Ultra and save with PNG. You can actually use any of the tests, anything, any write-up to achieve this. It's just as simple as this. You can use your brand name, use anything, and you can just design this and uh, later apply it to anything that you wanted to do. Thanks for watching. God bless you.